Hey guys, welcome back to this Bernard from the BTN HD and another MDT video, but this time I'm dealing with drivers. Drivers with what? Lenovo. Now, Lenovo is a little tricky when pushing out uh, drivers because when you do a WMIC command to get the model, it doesn't really tell you Lenovo dimp pad, blah, blah. It gives you gibberish stuff every time. Um, apparently, Lenovo knows this because that's the way that they designed it. But they were nice enough to give us deployment recipes. So I'm going to actually place the link at my site so you guys could get a copy. But with the deployment recipe cards, they give you all the models. Uh, they tell you what hardware apps you need, what quarries you need to push out to grab the correct drivers. They give you everything to deploy to their machines with no problem. Now, within this video, I am doing the Windows uh, 10 64-bit for the ThinkPad T460 uh, S, okay? So I'm actually pushing this out. So let's click on that. And as you can see, they give you everything. They give you the product, the machine type. Uh, the recipe is going to be a Windows 1064. These are the quarries that you could use. SCCM driver pack, which is extremely important for MDT. If you download the SCCM drivers, they would give you all the out-of-box drivers. They would give you the network, the Bluetooth, the wireless, the hard drive. They would give you everything in one shot. They will also give you a link to download the greatest and latest WinPE for your machine. As you can see, they also give you all the hardware apps. Just click on the link, download it, and these are the commands that you guys can use. Now, I already did that stuff, so I'm going to minimize that. Within my deployment, I'm going to expand that, and let's go to Applications. And I created a folder called Lenovo ThinkPad uh, T460. And these are all the hardware stuff. So I'm going to add the last one with you guys. So I'm going to right-click, uh, New Application, uh, Next. It is, I believe, the last one that I have to do. This is my cheat sheet. Again, they give you this stuff already. So this is the one that I have to enter. And we're going to copy that. And this is going to be a Lenovo application name, version, and language is optional. So I'm going to leave that blank. Next. The source is going to be inside my network drive where all my stuff is at. So here, here, hardware, this right here. Okay, next, and next. Now the command line. Now when you download the applications, the applications, the naming is a little different than what they give you on your cheat sheet. So what I normally do is I go into that location where the files are at hardware and I just uh, do a control a and just copy that let's go back into the deployment and paste that and the command that we're using is silent equals to one so I'm gonna copy that go back into here and paste it hit next next and we're done we're gonna click on finish now what I did is rather than picking all these applications during the deployment time, I created an application bundle. So within my application bundle node, I created a Lenovo uh, ThinkPad T460S hardware app bundle. So I'm gonna double click on that and I'm gonna add the new application that I just created with you guys. So let's go to dependencies, click on add. Uh, let's uh, expand this and we're gonna add this guy. Click okay, awesome, and we're gonna apply. Now, again, you can either download the SCCM uh, utility package and download all the out-of-box drivers for that specific Lenovo box and go inside your out-of-box drivers node. For me, I created a Windows 10 X64 folder, and inside that folder, I created the ThinkPad T64S. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, okay, Bernardo, so the approach that you're doing these driver management would be the make and model. Well, if, again, if you run the WMIC uh, computer find a computer name or whatever is, uh, the command is to locate the model on the machine. Lenovo doesn't give you a ThinkPad T460S. It gives you uh, 29AU blah, 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 right? So that approach, I that was the approach that I was going to go, but it, it's not going to work out. From here, you import all the drivers. I only imported the NIC driver for now. And the next thing that I did was I went into my advanced configuration selection profile and I created a profile just for Lenovo ThinkPad T460 and this right here is only pointing to that folder with all the drivers. 
Now, here comes the awesome part, the task sequence. So let's uh, expand my task sequence node. I created a node called Lenovo Standard Deployment. And within there, I have a folder called Lenovo ThinkPad T460S. But you guys can name it whatever you want. And this is where I created my task sequence. Now, this task sequence could be, this is a template just to get you guys up and running. For me, the way that I'm doing it in my lab is this task sequence is only for the T460. But you're able to enhance this task sequence to do all your Lenovo stuff. So let's double click on it and let's go to the task sequence. So within your pre-installed, I added a um, inject driver node and I named it as ThinkPad T460 drivers. And I select the selection profile with all my drivers just for that Lenovo T460. Now you're saying to yourself, how is the deployment gonna know to push out those drivers? Well, if you go to options, I actually added the query I actually used the Cori to find the model, the exact model. Again, the T460S is defined as 2049. That percent sign is whatever is close to it. 20FA percent sign. Now, the four digits are always the same. The rest of the numbers after the percent sign is different. But this Cori is basically saying if this machine that's being deployed, this operating system, is a 20F9 blah, 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 or a 20F8 blah, 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 push out these drivers, right? That's awesome. That's how the deployment knows to push out this specific node to my machine. Now you can take it to a step further. I think the only thing that you could do to this task sequence is I would say create another inject driver node and create another selection profile, right, from another model and just use the query to point to that machine. That's it. And then within my custom task, I created uh, another node right here. This is where I select all the apps. I created a bundle just for the T460 and I selected the bundle. And then within my options, the way that the deployment knows that I'm pushing out that bundle just for that machine is because I'm using the query again and to define, okay, is this machine a 2049 blah, 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 or a 20FA blah, blah, blah. OK, if the machine does not match this query, it's going to bypass it and it won't install the applications. So if you want to have a MDT server that's able to deploy uh, your image to your Lenovo devices, you need to import all the applications into your application node. If you want, you could create a bundle like I did, add it all in one shot, create a task sequence. You have to create a, you want to create an inject driver node just for that specific uh, device. Create a selection profile. And then within the options, you're going to add basically a Quarry WMI to see if that machine matches the deployment that you want to push out to it. Uh, and that's it, guys. Uh, again, Lenovo gives you all the tools to push out your image to their machines. I will place all the links at the bottom of the description. Hopefully, this is very helpful. And I'm hoping that I explain it as well as possible. If not, leave comments right below or questions. I am willing to uh, answer them. Uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm a little familiar with pushing out Lenovo stuff because I've been doing it at my job. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.